Hello friends, welcome to VFocus classes. You know that VFocus classes has been giving the free video lectures for SSC, CGL and IBPS preparation. So those who are watching the videos for the first time, please do subscribe our channel and also visit our website www.vfocusclasses.com. So our Facebook page bhi hai. So you can visit our Facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash vfocusclasses. And also we have a group in Facebook that is SSC CGL preparation and IBPS preparation by vFocus. You can join in the group too. In this session we are going to discuss some of the doubts raised by few students. So as we have discussed the topic of allegation and mixtures recently, now we will be discussing these doubts. So these are related to averages and also we can solve the same problems by using allegation and mixtures techniques. Okay. So the problem given here is the average mark of a class is 35 there are five girls and their average is 15 and the remaining are boys and have 39 as their average mark then the number of students in the class is what so it is clearly given the average mark of all the students that is 35 so total class is 35 given and class has been divided into so the class has been divided into girls and as well as boys so two groups are there girls and boys and by mixing them you will be getting the class the girls average is given that is 15 and the boys average is given that is 39 by mixing them average is given 15 so individual averages are given this is 35 individual averages are given and total average is also given so directly we can use allegation technique here so 15 is the average of the girls and 39 is the average of the boys and 35 is the average of both of them then we need to take the difference diagonally 35 and 15 difference is 20 and 39 and 35 difference is 4. So whatever the difference we are getting here this is the ratio of total quantities. Here quantities are nothing but number of students. So students quantity is also student whatever the ratio we are getting this is related to the students quantity. Now what is the ratio we are getting that is 1 is to 5. So 4 is to 20 means we will be getting it as 1 is to 5. Okay, so this one is related to this 15. 15 is related to girls. So how many girls are there? 5 girls are there. Now he's asking us to find the total number of students in the class. The total number of students has been divided into 1 is to 5 ratio. That is nothing but 6 parts. But in this one part is related to girls and the number of girls are given as 5. So if one part is equal to 5, then 6 parts is how much is the question? So clearly it is 30. So, so the total number of students in the class is 30. Now we move to the next problem. The average marks obtained by 120 candidates in a certain examination is 35. If the average marks of passed candidate is 39 and that of the failed candidate is 15, the number of candidates who passed the examination is. Here also same thing is given. The average marks obtained by 120 candidates. Total students is given. It is 35. In this there are passed candidates and their average is given as 39 and there are failed candidates their average is given as 15. So if you add pass and fail you will be getting the total students, total candidates. So it means it's clearly two individual groups are given and by combining them one total group is also given. Now we need to write the ratio. So individual group average will be taking 39 and 15 and by mixing them we will be getting the average 35. Now you write the ratio. How do we write the ratio? Diagonally we will take the difference. So 35, 39 difference is 4 and 35, 20 difference is we will be getting it as 20. So 20 is to 4 is the ratio. So 4 1s are and this is 4 5s are. So whatever the ratio we are getting that is in terms of 5 is to 1. This ratio is related to the number of students. But 5 is to 1 is nothing but 6 parts. 6 parts is related to the total students. How many total candidates are there? That is 120. Now in this problem is asking those who passed the examination. So pass D is 39, 39 ratio is related to 5. So indirectly is asking us to 5 what is 5 parts means. So 5 parts means how much? So 5 into 120 divided by 6, 6 ones are 6 twenties are. So you will be getting the answer as 100. So there are 100 students who passed the examination. Now go through the next problem. The average age of a class is 16 years. So there is a class and its average is given. We don't know the strength of the class. 
10 new students with an average of 15 years joined the class. So there is a new group and the group uh, number of students is 10 and their age is given as 15 years average age. So two individual averages we got now, two individual group averages we got and these two individual averages are mixed thereby the total average decreases by 3 months. So first group average is clearly given 16, second group average clearly given as 15 and by mixing them the average is decreased by 3 months. So earlier it is 16 now it is becoming 16, minus, 16 years minus 3 months so it will become 15 year 9 months. Now the average has become 15 year 9 months. Okay, Find the original strength of the class is asking. So how do you find the original strength of the class? Just find the ratio, that strength, the ratio is related to the original strength. Okay, so 16 minus 15 years, 9 months, we'll, getting at, we'll be getting it as 3 months. And 15 years minus 15 years, 9 months minus 15 years, we'll be getting it as 9 months. So now you got the ratio in terms of months. Now you cancel these things, you'll be getting the ratio as 3 is to 1. This 3 is to 1 is related to the total number of students here. But here we don't know the number of students, that is what we need to find, the original strength of the class. But here we know the number of students, that is 10. So what is the ratio related to 10, that is one part. So if one part is related to 10, now is asking us to find x, x ratio is related to 3 parts. So 3 parts is how much, is the question. So it will be 30. So original strength of the class was 30. In the problem they may ask what is the total strength of the class now so it would be 40. So this is how by using allegation mixtures method we can solve the problems of averages. So in order to understand these problems very well please go through the basics of allegation and mixtures. So already the videos have been uploaded in the playlist you can go through those playlist and watch the videos. So I thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any doubts, you can mail us at vfocusclasses at gmail.com and also you can whatsapp your doubt to 7660941278 number and if you want to purchase the pen drive course, you can inquire by whatsapp by messaging to this number through whatsapp or you can also mail to this mail id vfocusclasses at gmail.com. Thank you very much. You are watching vfocus classes. So first we will see uh, what so is the real life, life basically, 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 basically,